And on the South Shore, it's not so much rain or snow that's causing the concern there either, but again, it's the force of the ocean. Yeah, a little bit earlier today, Duxbury was still flooded out from last Friday's storm, and with little time to shore up the homes and fix the crumbled seawalls, people who live there are really worried that the water will be racing in again. WBZ's Beth Germano is live for us in Marshfield tonight, a very windy Marshfield tonight. Very windy, and you know, there was a lot of anticipation that this high tide would bring more flooding. Fortunately, we did not see that. We were actually in Duxbury, right near the seawall, and that gave crews some additional time to continue working on the wall that was broken by those successive tides last week when the ocean literally came under that seawall and pushed a portion of it out. Still, these pounding waves have homeowners watching the progress here along the beach and the progress out to sea. Mother Nature putting shored up seawalls to the test as they are pounded by another nor'easter. We bring the armament rocks into a, a location that the excavator can get a hold of them. This Duxbury seawall has stood the test of time until Monday when a 300 foot section gave way and it's been a race against the clock ever since to put boulders and fill in place to prevent catastrophic flooding. A worry for homeowner Don Norris. I don't have a ton of confidence, but I'm, I feel a lot better today than I felt on Monday when that wall collapsed. His house is on pilings, but might not withstand any further erosion that onshore waves could bring. The head of the DPW in Duxbury is cautiously optimistic about this temporary fix. We've gained some ground getting uh, shoring up in front, both in front and in back of the walls. In the Brant Rock section of Marshfield, giant boulders are being used to shore up another seawall, right next to where Jacqueline Gorham lives. She's evacuating, afraid of losing power again. We could stay in there. I've used the fireplace and actually made eggs in it, but that, like, there's no point of staying there. The water could hit our house. You know, we might lose heat. These South Shore residents say they haven't seen calming seas for days. And while the coastal flooding may not be as great with this storm, it's the repetition of surf and high winds that still has them concerned, especially with weakened seawalls. I'm hopeful. I mean, there's nothing else you can be but hopeful, and we'll see how we go from there. Hopeful indeed, because getting a permanent fix here will take time and money, and the town is already applying for any kind of funds they can get from the federal government. After these storms, nerves here are definitely frayed. They're looking for these seas to finally calm down. Reporting live from Duxbury, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.